Good morning and welcome back. Let's go to Lamentations 4, verses 17 to 19 for our reading today. Still our eyes failed us, watching vainly for our help. In our watching we watched for a nation that could not save us. They tracked our steps so that we could not walk in our streets. Our end was near, our days were over, for our end had come. Our pursuers were swifter than the eagles of the heavens. They pursued us on the mountains and lay in wait for us in the wilderness. Instead of looking to God for help, the kingdom of Judah looked to Egypt. They looked to their neighbors, the Ammonites. They looked for other nations and schemes that could help them. They should have looked to God. It was God's chastening, after all, of his own people. So naturally, none of these people could help. It was useless. You cannot fight against God. In fact, you can't do anything against the truth, but for the truth. Have you ever heard that? So it's true that all the schemes that the devils can, can connive and create and that men can make, even the pointy-headed smartest men and women that there are, the smartest schemes we can make will come to nothing when we put ourselves up against the infinite knowledge and the infinite caring and the infinite providential way of working that our God has for us. So it's a big mistake to try to basically rewire, rewrite reality. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. You can spend your life doing it, but it's not going to work. You're going to end up with a big bag full of nothing. You see, judgment finally comes, and the consequences cannot be deferred. We need to look ahead. We need to think in terms of longer thinking. We need to look to the consequences and how those things are going to impact us, what kind of people we become. Everything in our life, it seems today, is, is combined to get us into short-term thinking. You know, uh, buy it now, get it now, experience it now. Get everything now. Don't worry about the future. The future is uncertain, but the moment is certain. You know what? The moment isn't really that certain, is it? This moment, is it that certain? What's certain is that God made us to be holy, healthy, and happy, and he has a plan for his people. And if we think we're going to get fulfillment on our own, that's a big, it's a big mistake. We will never be fulfilled by whatever it is we think we're doing, what big contribution we think we're going to be doing. What we want to do is have the certainty that we are on God's plan and things are going to work out really beautifully for us. When you've been unfaithful to God as the kingdom of Judah was, there's no remedy for you. The only remedy there is for you is the gift of repentance. And we need to say to God, please help me to receive your gift of repentance. And with that, all things are possible. Without it, nothing good will come of it. So let's give thought to that. So what's the big lesson? Well, everything else but God, it's, it's a big holding pattern. But what we want to do is turn to the God of heaven and put all of our eggs in that basket. That's where we're going to find help and hope. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we have many schemes. We have many plans and designs and many projects of our own. But Lord, we want to be on your team. Please be our helper, be our guide. And Lord, help us to put your plans first, your ways first, to seek what's right. Seek first the kingdom that you have and all of your righteousness and everything else will come along in its place. So help us to be right. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And there's a plan for you to live and for me to live today. God be with you.